I want to encourage somebody out there who's thinking about quitting and giving up. Somebody who has been praying for years for things to turn around. And they're asking God, they're questioning God. Where is it? What, when, when, where? Send me a sign, send me a burning bush, send me something to confirm that my hopes and my dreams and things that I want to accomplish are going to actually happen. You're thinking about quitting, you're thinking about giving up. This is for you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Stay in it. Stay focused. You know, life can throw you some curves. And it's not just the things that you see coming, but sometimes it's the things that you didn't see coming that hit you out of nowhere, that set you back in such a way that it seems like you can't get over. And we, you know, are dealing with a lot of normal times where people feel like already their plate is full. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, there comes these unexpected things that just make us feel like we're overwhelmed and you've reached your limit and your bandwidth is full and you already said, I can't take another thing. And then out of nowhere, here comes something you didn't see coming and you're in it. This question, am I going to make it? is something that each and every individual is asking themselves all over this nation and in many places of the world. Somebody needs to know today you're going to make it. Somebody needs to know today you're doing all right. You may not be what you ought to be, but you're not what you used to be. And you're going to get there by God's grace. Don't you give up. Don't you quit. And don't you keep putting yourself down. You're doing better than you think you are. The other thing that you have to learn is when you hold on to your history, you do it at the expense of your destiny. When, when you consider you, you cannot give energy, wow. but in so many directions, that you are a limited resource. And if you're going to spend all that energy energizing where you've been, wow. then you're not going to have the fuel and the fire and the tenacity and the aggressiveness that you need to energize where you're going. But it takes more strength to forgive than it does to be vengeful and angry. And the worst part about it is, I really, 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 really believe that forgiveness does not exonerate the perpetrator. It does not justify their behavior. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself because you let it go so that you are available to be your highest and best self. And because you are saying, Like most Tongans, Kalafi had been raised to go to church, but there had been no living relationship between him and God. Apparently, he was a natural leader in Tongan's most prestigious school, but he had also been a drinking, carousing troublemaker in the, in the wee hours one morning when he had come home drunk. He suddenly saw the wasteland his life was becoming. He knelt beside his bed and began to cry. He wept for three hours, asking God to come into his life and change him. He got off his knees at 8, eight o'clock, a new young man. 